Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I have a very fun card for you and I will be using these two die sets by Tonic Studios. This is called Festive Signposts and uh, you get the dice to cut out the signpost. I am going to open it up for you so you can see what's included. So it comes with all the different parts to create your signpost and uh, three different sayings for your signpost. You also get a little uh, bits and pieces to create a bird as well as a snowbank for the top of your signpost. Now this is the snowman and the penguin and I think that it's just adorable. They both make uh, great focal points since they are quite big. You can have uh, two of them in one uh, card or you can have two snowmen. You can make them as long as or as short as you like. I'm going to take them out of the box so you see what's included. It's packed with dies. And there is a little guide here in the packaging that shows you what is each of those uh, cutouts. So you will understand what, which one is the nose and which one are the parts for the scarf, etc. Now in this there is no guide since everything is uh, pretty much self-explanatory. Now I'm going to place uh, these to store them in their original packaging. The original packaging is quite strong as you can see and it is like a pocket so it opens and closes easily. And uh, make sure that you don't throw it away, it's a great way to pack them. Today I'm going to create a gatefold card, so I'm going to show you the measurements here. First I'm starting with a um, letter sized cardstock, I'm cutting it in half, so that's at five and a half. And I'm going to bring in my scoring board and I'm going to score at two and one eighth. Then I'm going to turn it around and score again at two and one eighth. So now when I fold uh, those two flaps, I will end up having a standard card size, so that's four and a quarter by five and a half, but this time I have a nice opening, like a gate. Now I'm going to work on my signpost, and you can see that it comes uh, in four different parts. You can use only the outline if you wish so, or you can use the inside pieces that are actually the good uh, pieces. Now one of them can be used as the bottom of your signpost. Now I'm going to bring in my Big Shot machine and I'm going to cut out all the pieces. I prefer cutting out uh, little pieces out of a white cardstock and then use my favorite medium to color them instead of fighting with uh, different uh, little pieces of uh, colorful cardstock, but that's totally up to you. And I'm also going to cut out all the pieces that I need for the little bird, as well as for uh, the signpost, the saying on the signpost, and I went with the one that says North Pole. Now I'm going to use one of those sticky papers, and this is actually double-sided tape, so I'm going to peel off one side and I'm going to apply it on top of uh, a white cardstock. And um, once that's there, I'm going to peel off everything. And then I'm also going to peel off the top. So I end up having a cardstock that has one side full of adhesive. Now instead of using a sticky tape, if you don't have that, you can always use double-sided tape to completely cover up your paper. And then on top of that, I'm going to apply uh, this new product. This is uh, called Sparkle Dust, and the color I'm using is Snow Glow, and it's going to turn my paper into glitter paper. I didn't have this uh, kind of uh, glitter paper, so I decided to create my own. Now, this is perfect for creating snow. It gives a beautiful shine. And this is a really fine glitter, it's not junky at all, so it sticks perfectly fine on top of uh, the, the adhesive and it's not going to go anywhere. Now I'm using my bone folder over it just to make sure that everything is nicely adhered. And another thing that you can do to make sure that the, the glitter is not going to go anywhere is if you run it through your die cutting machine. Now I'm going to cut out of uh, this glitter paper that I have created a couple of snow banks as well as uh, different parts for the snow and the snowman. And uh, if you don't have those uh, dies for cutting out the snow banks, then you can just use your scissors and uh, create a little curve. Now I have created two panels out of blue cardstock and these are four by five and a quarter. So these are just the tiny 
bit smaller than the standard card, which means that when I place them on top of my card, I will have a white border around it. And this is the same case for the inside of my card. Now these blue panels are going to be the sky. So I'm going to apply some tape adhesive at the back of my snow banks and I'm going to stick them at the bottom of those blue panels. So I am going to use one of them at the front of my card and the second one on the inside. As I place that on top of my card, you can understand that I need to cut it in half. And since the width is uh, 4 inches, I need to cut it at 2 inches exactly. And as you have probably noticed, I'm using the Tim Holtz guillotine, which uh, I really love. I have been using it for a couple of weeks now. And if you want to see a review on this, I would uh, gladly post one. And I'm going to uh, mention both of the advantages and disadvantages, since this is not going to be a sponsored post. Now, as you can see, I'm applying some tape adhesive at the back of those two panels and now I'm going to place them directly on top of those uh, two folds, making sure that I align correctly. And I'm going for a little scene on front and on the inside of my card today, so this is going to be a beautiful background. And now since I didn't use uh, colored cardstock for cutting out all the little pieces, which of course you can go ahead and do, I decided to go and uh, color everything with my Distress inks and my dabbers. Of course you can use uh, your watercolors, you can use your alcohol markers, anything you fancy. And I don't know if you have noticed, but uh, those dies for the wooden planks give uh, actually a beautiful detail and uh, it's, it is going to show uh, now since I have applied my ink and you can even use them as a stencil so you can place them directly on top of your pieces and then go over them with a darker ink just like I'm going to do here which is going to make uh, that uh, detail even more vibrant. I will use the same technique for coloring the rest of the pieces and as you can see I'm working on my glass mat. I did a review a while back on this glass mat and to tell you the truth the more I use it the more I love it. And now it's time to assemble my signpost. I'm using some white glue at the back and I will start sticking one on top of the other. And as I'm doing that, just to let you know that as always you will find links down below to the description area as well as on my blog on all the products that I'm using today. And I'm also going to make sure that I link you to both US and UK online shops for your convenience. For the top of your sign, you can uh, use three different sayings that are included in this die set. One says, Santa stop here. The other one says, Rudolph this way. And the, the one that I am going to end up using is North Pole. When you are creating a gatefold card, the flaps, when you use heavy cardstock, tend to stay open. So I'm going to keep them closed using magnets. Now these are very thin magnets. Hopefully you can see how thin they are. And they have a sign on top of them, so you know which goes with which one. I'm using a plus one and a minus one. And I'm going to hide, to hide one of them behind the signpost. And they are self-adhesive, so they are very easy to use. I'm going to stick the other one on top. Peel off the backing. And now it's very sticky. I decide where I want this to be on the front of my card and I'm going to press so that the second magnet is going to stick directly on the inside of my card. Now each time you close the card those two magnets are going to fit nicely one on top of the other and they are going to keep that uh, card nicely closed. And I use some uh, white glue at the back of my signpost to stick that in place. I'm also going to stick the bottom for my sign so that it doesn't float there and um, the front of my card is pretty much finished and you can see that uh, those magnets uh, grab together even when you have uh, the other uh, fold closed. Uh, they are quite strong so no matter how many layers of paper you add on top of them they will always grab one on top of the other. So you see here I'm going to cover up this magnet with the paper and my background for the inside of my card is ready and even with all those layers of cardstock the magnets work perfectly fine. 
Now for the inside of my card I'm going to create a little snowman and I love this die because you can uh, interchange different pieces, you can make him as high or as short as you like. So there are actually three different pieces for creating your snowman but I don't want him to be so tall and uh, I am going to omit the middle one. So I'm going to use the main body as well as the head. And uh, that's the great uh, thing about those buildables. These uh, come from the buildable collection by Tonic Studios that you can mix and match different things and create your uh, pretty much your own designs. Now I'm going to use the dies to cut out the scarf, his nose, his eyes, as well as his um, earmuffs. And again, just like I did for the front of the card, I'm going to cut out all of these in white and then just color them with my distress inks. After quickly coloring all the bits and pieces, it's time to assemble my snowman. So I'm going to only to use those two pieces, the head and his uh, body. I'm going to attach the scarf and I have cut out two pieces for the, the uh, edges of the scarf. And uh, I like those because you can place them anywhere you like, as if it is, uh, there is a wind or not. So you can actually use them to give some motion and uh, interest to your snowman. Now there are uh, tiny little uh, dots that you can use for adding buttons on the body of your snowman. I am not going to bother with those tiny little ones. I just cut out two of them and colored them black to add them as his eyes. And I really like using uh, white glue for uh, sticking all those uh, different pieces on my card just because it gives me a little more um, flexibility so that I can slide them until I'm happy with their placement. And for the outside of my card I'm going to stick that little birdie that I have already assembled. I have uh, actually attached him with some foam squares at the back and my card is pretty much finished. All I need to do is to add some finishing touches such as a black dot for his eye. And I'm also going to bring in some white nouveau drops to create some snow. And here is a close-up look of the card. Hopefully you can see the shine on the snow as well as the dimension that I got from the nouveau drops. And uh, hopefully you can see how that magnet grabs nicely all through those layers and keeps those gates shut. And I still have uh, enough space on the inside of my card to write my note here. Or you can write it on the flaps. There is also this magnet that is visible. If that bothers you, you can always cover it up with another piece of paper. I don't mind, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. So that was the card for today. I hope you had fun as much as I did while making this card. I think it's just adorable. Here are some close-up photos of the card that I made today. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.